How you doing guys? Welcome back, it's LSP. It's currently the 18th of June, 2022. Uh, I'll preface the video by saying I'm not going to be engaging in the markets this weekend. Um, you know, I want to kind of start that way just to give you guys an idea of where I'm at. Um, and before we get into the actual analysis itself, don't forget to hit that like button, uh, subscribe if you are not already subscribed to the channel and get yourself over to my Discord. Uh, the link is in the description below. Everybody's welcome. So let's talk markets. We expected this to come. We were expecting the 20,000. Um, when I nodded off yesterday, um, price was at 20,500, give or take. And then obviously we've had a little bit of a dip. I think I think we went as low as 18, 18, seven something, I believe it was. I right, clocked this morning. Uh, yeah, 18, seven, 18, seven, one, two. Okay, which is not bad. Um, and I was saying that there's a couple of, you know, a couple of scenarios we should kind of be paying attention to this aggressive acceleration into that level. Okay, and then a snapback or this kind of slow grind into, you know, this level and then sort of consolidation. Uh, we've actually seen neither. I know it's very easy to look at like the one hour chart and say, oh, it, it dropped down there. This isn't acceleration. Let me um, explain it to you this way. I'm sure we've all seen in reflection tokens because we know obviously many of us are you know involved in reflection tokens. When you see that one big sell and price just tanks and then it starts to go sideways again because there's no more. It's just like that one sell, right? Um, this is akin to that. It's very similar, very similar scenario. It's just a drop and then just a consolidation. The type of move we wanted to see was a, an acceleration, 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 then bang, that last final push to dip into the liquidity pool and then snap back and, you know, start to drive um, almost immediately to, you know, sort of 20K and then back above 20K again. We haven't seen that. It doesn't mean that price isn't going to reverse this. It doesn't mean that, you know, um, price is going to continue going lower. But for now, we are sitting in a liquidity pool, which is very important because when price is sitting on liquidity pools and not driving towards them, it means you can get a little bit of relief. You know what I mean? Uh, I think the weekend, again, it's going to be a very interesting weekend. Um, it could turn out to be a key weekend. We'll see. But um, again, just be patient, relax, let the market do what it needs to do, because ultimately it's very easy at this moment to say, right, we've hit our target, 20K, sub 20K, off we go, right? You guys know, obviously, we've been talking about this for a very long time. You know, I showed you guys, you know, the chart that I posted um, last year on the 10th of January showing the 20K level. This is a huge, huge milestone uh, in terms of um, price delivery, in terms of sort of uh, pick up and deal off and accumulation and distribution phases, right, for Bitcoin. It's absolutely huge. This is why I made a note of it last year at, um, you know, at 20K. And this is why this 20K level has been so prevalent. You know, and we've been kind of waiting and waiting and waiting for this level to be hit. And now that it's been hit, we can kind of get a gauge or a feel for what's going to happen next, right? So we have to be patient. We have to let Bitcoin um, sort of unfold, tell us what it's going to do. And with that said, let's jump over to Binance quickly and just make a, 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 a subtle note that Binance didn't drop, which is very interesting, right? So Binance is currently sitting at sort of 204. We went as low as 196. You know, we've had a little bit of relief from there. Um, which is very interesting, very interesting. It wasn't as aggressive, um, you know, in terms of the drop itself. If we go over to the hourly chart, you know, you can see it's more of a messy, it just kind of tapped that low just ever so slightly. And now we're kind of grinding back up again, uh, back up a bit. I would imagine, um, and this is not, this is not a hundred percent, of course, um, but I, I think we may see 220, you know, on, on, on Binance at some point you know, in the coming days, possibly week. Um, it's showing a little bit of relative strength. And here's the thing, what I'm trying to figure out at the moment, and I'll kind of keep keep tracking this over the weekend, but I'm trying to figure out whether Binance is going to be the precursor to what's going to happen in the general market. Yeah. And I'm talking obviously cryptocurrency here. Um, so definitely, definitely want to keep an eye on, definitely interesting. But the kind of moral of today's video is don't engage in the markets, you know, um, and I say that loosely, obviously, it's not my place to tell anybody what to do. Just be cautious. Just be cautious. Um, again, it's going to be an interesting weekend. I think we may see a little bit more movement. But ultimately, we're in an area where price should start to stabilize now at least a little bit. Uh, and I think the only thing that would make that null and void would be a horrendous event, you know, something global that would basically just tank pretty much any market, really. So um, I think we're OK for now. 
I think we're safe down at these levels. We'll see what happens. Uh, let's just quickly jump over to Ethereum. Um, pretty obvious. Uh, let's use this one. Oh, ah, I know why. So let's, um, sorry guys, let's get that chart back up and let's jump over to Ethereum on this one. So pretty obvious that Ethereum was going to kind of go sub 1000. Um, we hit a low of, um, do you know what? Let me just move this here. I know it's there. Sorry guys. So we hit a low of, um, 973, which is not too bad for Ethereum. Again, expected. So we're not surprised. Don't need to be engaging. Still feel that, you know, Ethereum has the potential to drive towards that sort of, you know, 735 level. So we'll kind of see, be patient, you know, see how that kind of unfolds. Um, the, for, for, for us miners out there, the hash rate, you know, has dropped quite significantly. So there are people now that are kind of jumping off mining um, because it's just simply not profitable for them. Um, so just bear that in mind. Obviously, that will um, definitely factor into, you know, sort of Ethereum's price behavior. And again, patience, patience, patience. Uh, I will be updating uh, throughout the day if there is something to update, you know, with. Other than that, I'll just kind of finish the video with a, you know, a little bit of a chat. So at this point in the video, obviously the analysis is done. There's nothing really else to say. Um, I just want to spend a minute or so just kind of going over a few things. So going into next week, um, it's very easy um, as investors or traders, you know, who do this type of analysis. So let's say, regardless of whatever analysis you do, let's say your analysis is right. So we, you know, I'll use us as the example. We've been watching, bit, you know, Bitcoin. We've been looking at these levels. We finally hit this kind of 20,000 20, level, sub 20,000. And it's very easy during that time to just say, right, I was right. Now I can buy. Um, there are bigger factors in play. Um, and I'm not saying never engage in the markets until, you know, price is so low, you know, 4,000 or something silly like that. But the point being is that you have to have a plan for every scenario. So the expectation is 20K, we got it. Now the expectation is we want to see a rally. We haven't quite got that just yet, you know. So we, we have to kind of take a step back and just wait for the opportune time to make sure that we're engaging as safely as possible. The worst case scenario is that you kind of buy, and I'll use Bitcoin as the example. We grab Bitcoin down here, which to be fair is a great price. I mean, let's be frank. Um, but if it drops to 10,000, you know, is the 19,000 a great, you know, great price? Probably not, right? Uh, but depending on your investment style and strategy, whether it's for years to come or you're just looking for a quick book, uh, will depend on whether this price is a decent one. So I do feel that there is some more downside potential for Bitcoin. And the reason, you know, that I'm being super cautious is because we've already seen this already, where you have this downtrend and then a rally. And if you remember, we were trying to ascertain whether this rally was, you know, a rally in this downtrend or whether it was, you know, a kind of um, a higher low and it was going to be pushing higher to be that, you know, sort of third move up big long wave, you know, past sort of 70,000, 80,000. Uh, and it turned out obviously with our patience and analysis over, you know, the days and, and the weeks that it slowly started to grind to a point where it's like, yeah, okay, now I can confirm this is a rally in a downtrend, right? So we're going to get a continuation at least to these lows. We got a continuation to these lows and then price started to continue, continue, you know, and this is where we stand right now. So again, caution, keep your powder dry, be patient. Um, and let's hope that we get a little bit of a rally now into sort of 24 to 26. That's the key. Uh, and if that happens, we'll start the whole process again. Is it a rally in this downtrend? Yeah. Um, and this may seem very boring for a lot of you. It's like, oh, you know, somebody made a reference to my videos being boring. I, I, and this is no dig at him. I know he was messing about. I, I completely understand what he's saying. Um, but this is, you know, investing should be boring. Trading should be boring. Yeah. We're not here to, you know, we're not here for excitement. Obviously, if we want excitement, we go to a casino. This is supposed to be boring. Uh, making money in the markets, you know, the correct way is probably one of the most boring things you can do. Um, and if you can get to that point where your trading or investing is so boring, you know, that there's almost no emotion there, you're on the right track. So, with all of that said, We'll be cautious over the weekend. I'm going to be waiting to see whether we get, you know, some some upside movement. If not, obviously, um, that's fine. I'll update you guys if I see anything of interest. And with all of that said, I hope everyone has an absolutely fantastic weekend wherever you are in the world. And I look forward to speaking to you in the next update. All the best, guys. Take care. Ciao for now.